Hello, this is Lady Gaga, and I am with your friends, Kevin and Mikkel, and you are watching my favorite online blog, The Scorpion Show. Oh, wait, I want a double sandwich. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikkel, and we are here with a video on a Wednesday. Can you believe it? A Wednesday? We normally don't do videos on Wednesdays. Yes, we do. When, when the last time we did on Wednesday? Well, remember, we used to do three videos a week, and then I we know. cut back. Because I don't know then what of a, Yeah, I know what happened. You want me to tell you? What? You started traveling all over the world. <laughs> Who around the world? I was traveling all around the world. I did take a lot of vacations this year. Ooh. Ooh. But um, yeah, we back. We back with a new video, and we won't be back until next week, because this weekend is my friend Brandon's birthday, so I'm gonna be celebrating all weekend with him. So um, happy to start this video. I would say. So what does that have to do with? So why? Birthday. So why can't we record on Friday? Because I'm not Brandon's. Be so basically, Brandon's birthday is gonna be. Shh. So basically. Shh. So basically, that is gonna be fucking with my money. <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> is that what you're saying? Well, you no, know, hold, hold, hold up, wait a minute, hold up, stop the presses, hold on. Hold up. Now, Mikkel has a, 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 a MacBook at home, right? Now look, Beyonce is coming out with a new video tomorrow. Let's see if Mikkel make a video for that no. video, because I'm going to be at Shanta's party, I'm not going to have no. a chance to do it. No, no, I'm not going to make a video. See? I don't do stuff like Mikkel that. Mikkel don't do solo videos. No, because this is the Scorpion show, which is another thing you and I got to talk about off camera about that too. <laughs> Yeah, but this is we don't do I don't do solo videos. I do stuff with you because I don't want to take away the shine. This is a this is what you don't seem to realize. This is a group thing. This is not yes. a solo effort. But it, it's, it don't have as to be selfish as many of you may think that I am. I'm actually not selfish. OK, yeah. I look at it as a whole, not as a I'll do something then and then you do. That's not fun. well, I do because you don't like some of the stuff that I like. And when I get a chance, I get on camera and talk about what I want to talk about. Like, yeah, I've like, been doing like the best. WWE. Yes, I do talk about wrestling. You That's know, I think you should say that for, I think you should say those commentaries for when we do a group video. A why would I talk about a solo that? Video. But why would I talk about that in a video where you're not interested so you can well, see no, Well, there's a lot of, make no, faces no, 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 no. Talking about well, it. because there's a lot of things that you talk about that I'm not interested in, but I still make faces and vice okay. versa. But you I'm not going to sit here, talk about Beyonce. but I, I get a chance to say everything I want to say when I do my solo videos. Okay. So, I'm not stopping those. No, I didn't. Tell you. I'm just saying. Do what you want to do. This is your show. I'm just a couple. <laughs> I'm just I'm just the squirrel trying to get a nut. Stop it. <laughs> this is not my show. I'm just the co-host. Remember, you were doing this a year before I came along. This is not my show. You do what you want to do. Let's get into this, this show. <laughs> yes. So anyway, on WWE Monday Night Raw, right? I'm not gonna talk about wrestling. So yesterday. Oh, what? Hank Williams Jr. I've heard of that name. Uh, Are Monday you ready Night for Raw? some football? Yes. That was a hot mess. <laughs> well, he compared Barack Obama to Hitler, I believe it was, right? Yes. That was a mess. I don't think ABC is going to <laughs> stop having him say, are you ready for some football? Because that has been the same for over 20 they years. They did. They, they took it they off. They off for one night, oh, but I don't think it's going to be okay. permanent. Maybe they can find him or something, but he don't work for ESPN. That's mm -hmm. the thing. So, but everybody is ready. I mean, everybody is so used to, are you ready for some football? It's not going to be the same without him yeah. and that opening. Well, so. let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, because they had this really good debate mm -hmm. that I thought was very interesting. Um, uh, I forgot. Damn, I forgot where I was watching the debate at. You know, I watch so much debates. I, I can't remember where I was watching it at. But... They said, you know, the debate that I was watching, which I thought was very interesting, Hank, Hank Williams, that's his name, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What he said was really rude, and because I saw the video, you know, what, that he said mm -hmm. it on. It was very rude, and it was just obnoxious of him. But at the same time, do you think that ABC went too far? Because at the end of the day, that's free speech. No. Because... And, 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 you know, Frank, I keep calling him Frank. 
he didn't necessarily say anything as of, you know, we should kill Obama or basically he compared Obama to an evil man, which was wrong. But what did he say? But was it was it that bad that they should have yanked him off or that they should even find him? Because you have people that support ABC or ESPN, but let's call it ABC because mm -hmm. yeah. um, ABC is the parent company or Disney is the parent company, excuse me. So you have people that support Disney. And you have, you know how Democrats are. How can you have someone on your network that sits here and talk about Obama? So the only thing they can do is say, you know, we don't stand by his words. We don't support his words. So mm -hmm. we're just going to have to take him off our network. And a lot of companies do it. Like, let's say, for instance. But is that violating his free speech? Because that's free speech. That's an, it's that's not, free it's speech. Not, yes, his speech is not getting sued or anything. It's just that we're, we're just deciding not to play his song. Like, a lot of people do stuff that in the network, like, for instance, Chris Brown. Chris Brown would work for none of those radio stations. But when, when he did what he did to Rihanna, mm -hmm. a lot of radio stations say, you know what, we're not going to support this. We're not, we're not going to play his music. Yeah, but, that wasn't, but music. that wasn't speech that Chris Brown did. Chris Brown physically but assaulted either, somebody. But either free speech no. or doing something. But, I mean, it's the but, same but, thing. But when you do, but when, but I don't, again, I don't want anybody to think that I'm supporting Hank Williams because I'm not. I'm just looking at it at two both sides. When you have somebody, because you and I say stuff all the time about people, mm -hmm. and a lot of people may like, a lot of people don't like it. When you have somebody who was saying, giving their opinion on how, or their thought on how they feel someone else is compared to somebody else, when you have somebody doing that, and then you have the network say, well, you know what? We don't stand by what you say. Okay, fine, you don't stand by what I say, and, and then by the way, we're going to pull your thing. Then that's make, getting people to think that, okay, well, damn, I can't say anything because now I have to be mindful because of the fact that I'm going to get my shit pulled when at the yeah, end of the day, yeah, you it's do free have to speech. Be, even though it's free speech, people do not want to be associated with people that don't do things by the rules. Or but but what, by they, what by rule? He was, but wait, he but was I'm just saying by, I'm saying by their standards. People are not always going to want that. Same thing. Whoopi Goldberg, when she was talking about Bush and um, Slim Fast fired her because... They did not like that, and that's not somebody who we want representing our company. So you have to remember, what sometimes what you do in your own time affects others. Like, but companies. is that in violation of free speech? It's not in violation of free speech. It is if you're representing my company, and I feel that your actions are not good to the standard of our company, we can let you go because of what you're doing in your public life, even though you might say it's free speech. Or I might say, oh shit, I can't stand the Scorpion show. I could just say, you know what, Mikkel, don't come back to work tomorrow because you don't like the Scorpion show. Even though it's free speech, you're talking about this company. And I can't have you here if you're going to be talking about the company. But what so that's why a lot, of com a lot of jobs fired their employees. Even though it's free speech, oh, you can't stand this job, and as wrong as it might seem. Oh, I can't stand so-and-so on the job. Okay, now I've seen this. You know what? I don't need this negativity. I don't need you on our team. I'm going to have to let well, you go. Well, you're saying somebody saying they can't stand a job. He didn't say he can't stand a no, job. No, I'm not. Well, well, I understand no, what you no, this. But it's just like, we if somebody... Made, no, we're not going too far because this we is a conversation that we're, we're having. Don't do that. What, I, what I'm saying is, if we get on here and say something about... For instance, for the past three years, you've been dogging Beyonce down. Mm -hmm. Now, what if Beyonce had some type of partnership with YouTube and YouTube said, well, you know, we don't like what you say about Beyonce, so we're canceling your channel. You wouldn't like that, would you? I wouldn't. You wouldn't have that all of our subscribers write YouTube and say, that's not... Because what is nothing that I can do about but that, it. But wouldn't you think that that's unfair because that's free speech? Yeah. Well, you know what? It's nothing I can do about it, though. No, but I'm saying, no, you, it's nothing you can do about it. But what I'm asking is, is that fair? Because that that's free. That's your free speech. You're okay. not saying kill Beyonce. Again. Hank Williams didn't say kill Obama. He just said he thinks that Obama is like Hitler. No, it was not right. But at the end of the day, isn't that free speech? Isn't that what we have in the Constitution or the amendment? Free speech? Besides this free speech, you're saying, he's saying, okay, Obama is a terrorist. No, he didn't say that. He is just like... No, I watched it. He did not say that. Right, what he okay. said was, he said the golf game between President Obama and John Boehner reminded him something of, it, it was something like Hitler and I think he said uh, 
uh, some some other person. He said it reminded him of something like that. He never said anything to that effect. What you're saying? He said it reminded him something like that. As a matter of fact, he never even said that Obama was Hitler. He said that the two of them reminded him of these two people. Which, if you you know, you don't have to necessarily say he is Hitler. But I mean, if you're smart enough, you can say that. So that's what I'm saying. Like I think that even though I don't agree with what Hank Williams said, I think that it it just seems like it was taking it. I don't know. I, I I don't know. I guess with the whole Don Imus thing, because remember when Don Imus called those girls nappy headed hoes? Mm -hmm. Remember he remember he said that, and they you know they did all that fine and everything. Don Imus was wrong as hell for saying that. But at the end of the day, if anybody knows Don Imus, they know that that's the type of person he is. Just like Charlemagne. Charlemagne is like that too, and it's like, well, damn, how far can Charlemagne go before people? He hasn't been yanked off the radio yet. I don't think he ever said anything very controversial yet, neither. No. It's just his character, the way he is. And Wendy Williams is the same way when she was on the radio. <coughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, took, I thought it was a very... I, took, I cannot think of where I saw this debate at. I can't even remember if I saw it on YouTube or the TV. But I saw it somewhere and they were talking about it. But I just thought it would be interesting to, to bring up. Mm -hmm. And I know the people who are watching us don't have a lot to say about it. That's fine. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. No, I don't have a problem with it. Hey, it's free. It's free speech, but again, you have to be mindful. No, I understand of what, what you're saying. saying. No, I definitely when you, understand when what you're saying. You're working for these companies, or if you are the spokesperson, they could just let you go if they don't agree with what you say or what you do. I just think that that's a little. I don't know. I just feel as though. Well, you already know how I feel. About I know, but it's it's the it's also about morals. So if I decide to stand by you, that means I agree with the things that you do. And that's what the, that's how these companies feel. No, no, no. So, I don't. No, I'm not saying that ABC stood by him. Now, if ABC would have put out a statement and said, you know, we don't agree with what they Hank did. Williams said, mm -hmm. then okay, fine, that's fine and dandy. But then they, you know, yank his thing off the air, and it's like, okay, well, you guys already made it clear that you don't agree with it. I guess they wanted to take it a step farther and prove that they don't agree. But if that's the case, if they're gonna yank it off for just one night then they should just take it off indefinitely. You see what I'm saying? Because then what's the point of just yanking it off for one night when you're just going to put it back on next week? Well, maybe they want, want him to apologize for But he's he not. He said it I too. I think he did apologize. No, he did not. He, he put say? out a statement and said he is not apologizing for his analogy that he made for the compare. He said that people blew it out of portion. He didn't, well, from what I, the statement that I saw yesterday, he did not apologize. He said that he's not apologizing for it. Because uh, I thought I'd seen something that he this did apologize. This is my mother. Hello? Down no further. Are you going to Google and see if he apologized? Yeah, I'm about to see it. Okay, because, yeah, because I know. Because I think I've seen something on it. somebody's opinion. <clears throat> Hank William apologizes for Hitler Obama analogy. Hank William Obama, go ahead. What does it say? Hank Williams Jr. is apologizing for using an analogy to Adolf Hitler in discussing Barack Obama that prompted ESPN to pull his classic intro song to Monday Night Football. Williams said in a statement posted on his Facebook website Tuesday that his passion in politics, his passion for politics and sports got the best or the worst of me. This is what he, this is what he originally said. Mm -hmm. See right there, he said, he Actually like, clarify, William said, they're the enemy, adding that they, he met Obama and Vice President Joe Biden. ESPN had no further comment and is not known with the intro synonymous with Monday Night Football since 1989 will be used again. But I know I, I, I had to see something <coughs> today where it was it was a longer statement. Well, maybe he apologized he today because I know yesterday when I was seeing it, it said that he, he was saying that he wasn't going to apologize for it. So whatever the case may be, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Now, just be careful. If you work for a big company, just be careful with yourself. Or do. I mean, things from the past can come back and haunt you too. Just like with Amber Rose and the naked pictures, she got fired from one of them companies. Amber like, Rose? Mm -hmm. What, what, what was she them, a part of? She was a part of something and they let her go and she went on Twitter like, she was like saying all kinds of stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, that's just like, remember American Idol with Frenchie Davis? Yep. 
I thought that was unfair. Yeah, that she would have won hands down. She would have beat Ruben. Yeah, it would have been, been good. Ruben. That would have been a <laughs> child. Now that is somebody who sings, and I'm telling you, down. Mm -hmm. She I sings. Oh my God, she sings. Look Frenchie Davis up, cause you know. P.S. Shout out to all y'all people who watched our last video and saw my rant on Star Jones and Sherry Shepard and loved that rant so much that y'all actually went to go look for the actual video. Where <laughs> I saw the comments and people were like, Miguel sent me." I said, "Oh my God!" A lot of y'all went to go watch. Yes. Barbara really. Barbara got <laughs> Star together. <laughs> but we gave her a chance. <laughs> To make up anything, and we would have supported that. Uh -huh. See, that's that's the bitch and Barbara coming out, cause she didn't have to say that. <laughs> but did she see how she said it? <laughs> she said it in a very professional. Like, Star has way. known for months uh -huh. that ABC did not My, want one to her new contract. contract. Girl, that is shade all over. That's like you getting on camera and saying Mikael has known for months <laughs> that me and you two have, did not want to renew his contract. Child. So we gave her a chance to find a new job. And they bow out with <laughs> dignity. Yes, Barbara. Yes. Can you but I, can you imagine how that must have felt for Star Jones, knowing for months that the people that you work with, or based because you know her and Joy Behar didn't really get along that much. Yeah, I've seen. I know that they argued yeah. a lot. They are. Well, one of the reasons why they didn't get along was because Joy Behar came out and said that she thought that Star Jones should have told the truth about her weight loss. Because you remember, Star Jones was denying the fact mm -hmm. that she had gas surgery. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't understand why, <laughs> if you got gas surgery, why is it so hard to say you got it? <laughs> I don't know either. But then at the same time, that wasn't Joy Behar's place to say that. No, but who did she tell? I think she came oh, out afterwards. and like, said, yeah, and said it. And Star Jones, that was before Star Jones had admitted Something that she had, had a medical intervention. Girl! <laughs> the only medical <laughs> intervention that we knew was motherfucking gas surgery by our pants. <laughs> Or what they, the lap band or whatever, and I know she didn't get, but it's the same thing. Didn't a celebrity get the lap band? Oh, Al Roker. He yeah. got the thing put on his stomach. Yeah, he, he, he looks the first good. One. Yeah, he does. He looks real good. I guess. So yesterday, they had a big uh, conference, Apple had a big conference in California for the new Apple products, and a lot of people were disappointed because they thought that Apple was going to introduce the iPhone 5. Even I thought the iPhone 5 was coming out, but I'm still making the switch over to Apple next week. I will be getting the iPhone 4S. Did you see it? Like, did you see any news on it? I saw it, but I didn't really. I, I don't. I don't pay attention to that. When okay. it comes out, I'll get it. You're, you're gonna update your phone next week? Yeah, I have to. This thing is. I don't even want to go. Through. It's gonna have better camera lighting. Um, it's gonna have a messaging system. A Siri system where you talk to the damn phone and the phone talk back to you. You ask her the weather. You tell her to set the alarm clock. You ask her to find a restaurant in your area. She does it all. I'm just really excited. I mean, they got the new um, iMessage, which is like BBM. It's you know, it's a lot of stuff that I'm that I don't have on T-Mobile that I really want to go over to the iPhone. I, I need to switch the team iPhone. I mean, I have a MacBook, an iPod, an iPhone, I mean an iPad, all the i stuff, pods, so it's time to get an iPhone, so. Cold word for it, he's living a good life. That's not the good life, you got all the Apple stuff, but hey. The only Apple thing I have is this. And a Mac. Well, I didn't pay for that, remember? But it's the same thing. That's free. I didn't pay for that, I can't afford it. Oh, God. <laughs> he has a Mac and he has an iPhone, and he needs an iPad. No, I don't. See, I used to say the same thing. No, I, I, I don't, don't need don't. no iPad. I don't need no iPad. Let me tell you iPad. something. I told you this. I use this for everything. Everything. This gets Let's, me. How many gigabytes? Um, I don't know. You know what you say? I don't know. You know, I don't fucking know. I just buy it. I don't know. They don't even say. But does it like? This is the iPhone four, so yeah. I just. But do you ever just like run out of space sometime on your phone? Run out of space on what? I don't put anything you don't on have here. No music. It's just pictures. It's just all pictures. I have musical here, but I mean, I don't. You know, I don't download stuff, Kevin. Oh, I just well, answer and hang it up. Yeah, I put a lot of new pictures on my um. Nude pictures. A lot of new pictures. Oh. On my on my um. What you call? I had a brain fart. Yeah, I. I'm a photo part. Yeah, like a lot of pictures from MySpace that I had. You know, 
Like these people. Oh, that's when you said you went on MySpace and got that stuff? Yeah. Look at me and Beyonce from back in the day. That's the that's the closest you'll ever get to her. <laughs> <laughs> that's the closest you'll ever get to her. <laughs> you had your chance at Good Morning America said, and you <laughs> blew it. Tana, keep it moving because you know why? Because this girl right here. <laughs> no, you ain't tell her that. I ain't tell her nothing. I'm I just you like, like, yeah, okay. That bitch is fine. She is so, she looks so good in person. Who? Beyonce. Oh, yeah, she does. But yeah, y'all, and then don't don't get me started about the um the iCloud shit. Whatever you got on your yeah. iPhone, you push it to your it goes to your iPad, your MacBook, and your iPod. It's going to be crazy. When you hook this phone up to your computer, isn't the pictures and everything like that? Yes, aren't they supposed to just up. automatically pop up on my computer? Yeah, like they're doing mine, like an iPhone. Yeah, because I need to hurry up and get all my pictures, the new pictures from here. Onto the, <coughs> to the computer. <coughs> and then I gotta learn how to, when I hook up my new phone, how to get it back. Look, I will tell you, I am illiterate when it comes to technology. You need to go take a computer, take a computer, no, go to I the don't Apple store, need to take nobody and to learn how to use no, it. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, you, got, you gotta be with the times, Mikhail. I am with the times. What time is it? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up. You gotta go with the times. So anyway, y'all, I'm happy about the uh, the Apple stuff, and I'm signing up. I'm actually going to pre-order my phone because I'm not camping out for no goddamn phone. So I'm gonna pre-order it. So when you pre, okay, what do you do when you pre-order it? I guess it's like already reserved for you, but I don't. E I don't even have AT and T or um, Verizon or Sprint, so I don't know how that's going to go down. But I'm gonna get the phone. So you pay for it when you pre-order it? Like I don't yeah, know how you, you pay do. for the phone. Okay. How and much I is it? The phone's on two hundred dollars. Oh. So was that for everybody or just for? Yeah, for the to um, if you depending on your plan, you might can get a um, a reduced price for the phone. Okay. So if you do for an upgrade, probably. But um. So when you pre-order, what do you have to do? Do it online or call them? You do it. You could do it online or you can call them. So you can go to the Apple Store and do it too, right? Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't feel comfortable going to the Apple Store, though. Why? I don't know. You know why? Because I be thinking people is out to get the people that's in the stores, especially when new stuff come out. No, a I mean, lot of crime. I'm talking about the customers. I'm gonna talk, I mean, not the customers, oh. the employees. I mean, they could probably help me, but you can't do it at the Apple Store. You can only do it online or by calling the Apple number. But I'm, I, I just can't wait to have a goddamn iPhone. I don't know why. I just can't wait. So, it's Mikel told me today that Kemsha has left the basketball wise. Can you tell me what happened? Well, remember I told you that weeks ago. Yeah, but I, I didn't know what had went on. Well, apparently Kemsha did this interview, and basically Kemsha was saying that she didn't feel comfortable being on the show anymore because it was a bunch of negativity, and she's not into all of that. Um, she said it was just a lot of chaos and commotion amongst the women. Um, she said, I think a few of them were married and some of them weren't, or whatever the case may be. But what, whatever it is, she was saying that that is not the represent, representation of, like, I guess, yes. the real basketball wives. So, hello. Uh, go ahead. I'm that just... wasn't the real representation of, the, I guess, the whole, the real basketball wives. So she just didn't feel comfortable. There was a big rumor going around saying that her and Shawnee. Shawnee was going into it. But I don't, think, I don't think that was what it was. Or it may have been that, but she used a different. Um, but on Facebook that she was um, mad on. at Shawnee and Kristoff. Well, I don't know who this is. Hello? Yes? I'm recording. Who's this? No, who is that? Oh! 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 You know what? I'm, I'm sorry. And I, mind you, I was just about to say your name, too. I'm recording. Wow, what's up? Well, no, I got time. What you doing? Uh, oh, so you call? Why you call me? You call me because you're bored? Well, you ain't had to work today. Uh, I'm gonna call you as soon as I I leave here, okay? All right, and make sure you answer too. All right, bye. We so good, huh? <laughs> well, I'm sitting here watching baseball. I'm sorry, but you know, with certain phone calls, you just have to pick up. Even though I didn't know who it was when we first called. Okay, because I was going to say something. I was just waiting. So I'm telling you, I'm sorry, but for those of y'all that know and those of y'all that don't know, I am 
bad when it comes to saving people's numbers in my phone. You will give me your number and I will not put your name in for like months and months at a time. So you just memorize and numbers? No, no, I don't memorize numbers. This is how I do it. If we texting each other, mm -hmm. how I remember how I remember you when you text me like two or three weeks later is when you text me, I'll go back to the previous text messages to see what we talk about, and then that's when I remember who it is. Mm. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? And I'll be texting back like I know who it is. Hey, what's up? Because you know you can't dare say who it is. Well, I, I, if I don't have the, if I don't have the conversation on my phone, I'll politely say, um, who is this? They will say in a minute, oh, you don't know who this is? No. no. <laughs> Why? Why? Wait a minute. What? This happens too much. <laughs> what happened? This is shit. I just deleted the videos and shit off of here. Yeah. So basic. Oh, so here we go. So. So, sorry, I keep looking at that damn score. Shout out to the Phillies. We up to nothing turn at the top on. of the first inning. I can't stop. Can't turn it off. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. So, this is how I feel about it. I mean, Kemsha, you knew what Basketball Wives was all about yeah. before you got on the show. We could just look at regular Basketball Wives Miami and see how the girls act. These TV shows are meant for the drama. And we want to see drama and your opinion on what's going on. That's why we watch the show. Like, what did you come on the show for? If you come on the show, you got to be on the show besides just positive stuff. Like, I mean, we want to see you the drama, girl, basically. You know what I think it and is? And I was liking her because she was keeping the rhythm. Excuse me. You know what I think it is? No shade. But I think that Kim should, of course she knew. Because clearly, you know, all these other shows, she knew. But I think Kim should's real reason for not wanting to stay is because... Here she is a bunch around a bunch of women mm. who are bougie, they're into the fashion and they're into all that stuff. And that's not her twist. You see what I'm, you see what I'm mm. saying? Because remember in the few the few episodes where her and Malaysia went out shoe shopping and Malaysia was, you know, checking out and Kemsha was just sitting there like a bump on the wall. Mm. I think that Kemsha was out of her element. I don't I'm not saying that Kemsha was fashion, you know, you know, she wasn't fashion size, you know, whatever the case may be. I just think that Kemsha didn't feel comfortable, though that just wasn't her group of people. That's just like if I'm around, let's like say for instance, no, I'm not saying anything about your friends, but just say, you know, you and your friends, y'all have your own little thing that y'all do and y'all say when y'all with each other. If I come around and I'm like a bump on the law because I don't know what y'all be saying, I don't know what's going on, I don't know how y'all interact, or, you know, I may think that one of your friends is throwing shade when they're really, you know, being, and I think that's what it was with Kemsha. I just think that she really did not fit in. I don't believe that it was the whole negativity stuff because she already knew what she was getting herself into when she signed on. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. I just really think that she just... She just, what, it wasn't her click. Well, Kimsha. Kimsha girl. Bye girl, fly girl. Okay. So let's get into the episode this week. Fuck all the other stuff. You know what? Basketball wise, LA, I, I might need that because I might have to go in. You may have to go right to her. Yes. Basketball wise, LA has turned into everybody hates Drea. Like, everywhere, every scene, Drea is the topic of the motherfucking conversation. I could be at Maggiano's or Olive Garden or on the train. Drea is the main topic. Why is she on your brain that bad? Jackie and Laura, y'all had nothing else better to do but then to sit there and go Google Drea, look at pictures and look for something to find on her. So y'all found the police report and now y'all like, oh, you know what? Yes, bitch. Uh, we found something. Yes. Woo! We found something. Woo! Now let's go, now let's go have breakfast and let's talk about Drea. <laughs> so this whole time they done called Laura. <laughs> oh, they done called, um, uh, they called everybody except for Malaysia and uh, Tanya and Kimsha. So they all sitting there talking about, talking about it. Imani like, see, I knew, I already knew. I just didn't want to say nothing or whatever. So they, they trying to think about how they going to tell, how they going to come up with this plan against Drea and what's going on. So this is, you know what, these bitches is just too fake. And they didn't even tell Malaysia what was going on. So Malaysia at the motherfucking dinner like, what? What's going on? Like, I didn't even know all of this was going on. So this is, oh, so I missed the episode when they found out about the whole... Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, oh. It's some motherfucking drama. Well, Drea said that it wasn't true. Remember in the past... Drea episode? said it's not true. Is it really true? Drea, I don't know. But see, this is the thing, though. When it comes to what I know about from Philly, 
is that if you neglect your child or do anything wrong against your child, DHS is going to step in. Department of Human Services, or what y'all call it, Child Protective they Services. They have different names yeah. around the country. They're going to step in, <clears throat> right? And then the mother is going to be arrested. Not one time out of all of these police reports that Dre has said it's fake, I didn't never hear about Dre being arrested. I mean, that would have been the first thing that happened if the child was left home for three days to go to school by himself, locked in the house and doing microwave dinners and stuff. Why the fuck is Drea over in L.A.? Why is she not locked up in somebody's prison? Who is this for child? Doing that? She got a six-year-old son. But they say she was out stripping stripping or doing whatever. She, she she just one family. child? She got one child. One son. One son. So these bitches, they sitting at the table. First of all, they acting like everything is fine, everything is cool. And then the bitch Laura, who is so fake. I hate her fucking scenes when she's talking because it's like she's trying to make herself better than what the fuck she is. That's the one who slept with Shaq, right? No, that's not Laura. Not, I ain't even say Laura. Gloria. Gloria! Huh, Wait, bitch. Gloria. The she one was the time, on. Yeah, the one that get beats up, up beat up all the time. Shit, even Jackie beat her up last week. So we already know Gloria can't fight. Glory, you just can't fight. Don't do no more um, boxing scenes because you're going to get your ass whipped, knocked down, or whatever. So she's sitting there going to ask, going to ask um, Drea, so why didn't you come to the wedding? Bitch, it's not your motherfucking um, business to know why she wasn't at the wedding. That's what Gloria asked Drea? Yeah, that's what she asked Drea. Okay, first of all, Drea and Jackie already got that established. So, bitch, what I would have said was, I already talked to Jackie about it. So, you need to ask Jackie about why I didn't show up to the wedding. Or you and you know what? And Jackie should have stepped up and said something to Gloria, but no. no Jackie likes that. They want this yeah. drama, they so. Want, no, they want this fake drama so they can have a show. Yeah. Going. So, what had happened was, <laughs> after that, Jackie, I mean, um, 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 Drea says to me, she says, why, what happened? So then Jackie tries to twist it and say, but you were saying, Malaysia said, Mala Malaysia. That's now, Jackie. Jackie saying. Yes, but again, Drea was not saying it as it was a bad thing. She was saying, this, yeah, me and Malaysia was having this conversation, and she told me that you asked if she'd come to the wedding. And if you have to ask should I come, I feel I shouldn't have to be there. So Malaysia looking at Jackie like, I mean, looking at Dre like, wait, I didn't say, and then Dre like, you did say, mm -hmm. so they going around with this, he said, she said shit, and then she was like, um, well, you know what, you do go crazy, she, Dre tells Jackie, she do go crazy about her husband, and, uh, she, and it was something, something to some effect, so Jackie gets mad, and um, curses out Dre talking about, well, you know what, don't you ever talk to me like that, because I knock you out, you're going to say and call me crazy, but Jackie, you are crazy when it comes to Doug, and ain't nobody going crazy for Doug but you. Okay. Don't nobody want Doug. Anytime I look on Twitter, don't nobody say, oh, he's fine. I want to do this for him. I might say that about Matt, but I definitely don't say it about your husband, Doug. So that is some of your insecurities, like, and then you up there saying, oh, well, I don't know if she's fucking five men or if she's stripping on a pole. Like, Jackie, you didn't have to say all of that. I was loving you <laughs> until this motherfucking episode. Wait a minute. I was but loving you until this that. episode. Didn't I say that? I've been saying that for the longest. Jackie is no but different from the she's, rest of She's them. not no different, <laughs> but I don't think that she's fake. Yeah, she is. I, don't, I, I just, I, I honestly don't think that she's fake. Like, she keeps it real when she needs to keep it real. But this week, no, she just went overboard. Like, she's fake. bitch, you got mad because she said you crazy over a man. Like, girl, that's your husband. You're supposed to be crazy for him, but not crazy about every goddamn thing, anything somebody says that you don't like. So basically, all of them having this big discussion about Drea and her son and how um, Drea shouldn't be around them because she don't want to be, you know, doing stuff with her children. I mean, leaving her son, who is texting me? Somebody is, aban she abandoned her son. Like, it really made me mad that they all just don't like Drea. And Malaysia just nipped in the bud like, look, I believe Drea. Whatever Drea say, I'm believing. Because, you know what, I had children of my own. And it would make me mad if somebody was saying that I neglected my child when I didn't. 
So, you know, basically, Malaysia is giving her the benefit of the doubt. The other girls, you know, Glor I mean, Gloria wants to sit there and cry, talking about, because I would never do that to my kids or whatever. It was just too much. And I think that, Glor not Gloria, I think that Drea should have had some type of warning before going into the situation. Like, everybody keeps wanting her around, but then they keep, like, trying to break her down and stomp on her. Like, I think it's a jealousy issue because Dre is the prettiest out the bunch, and they really feel threatened, but for what? M Jackie, I mean, Dre don't want y'all fucking men. She, you know how many men she can have? Dude, for real. Versus y'all, anyway. She can have y'all motherfucking men if she wanted them, well, but she's not like that. Well, that's the that's why they're so afraid. But, but bitch, you shouldn't be afraid because if you know you got some good ass pussy and you know you put it on your man, you shouldn't be worried about any other woman taking him away from you. Basically, you should never feel threatened by another woman. Never, ever, ever. Because I ain't threatened by a motherfucking person. Why should you be? Hey, because I'm a scorpion, bitch. Forever. For real. Thanks. Girl, girl, I'm about to go off. Like, they just made me mad. Everybody hates fucking Drea. Everybody hates Drea for what? Y'all mad? Oh, because she might be a groupie. Well, bitch, where did y'all start from? How did y'all... If you didn't meet this, y'all basketball men when y'all was teenagers, then bitch, you was a motherfucking groupie too. 95% of y'all. The 5%, you know... But basketball, I can't wait to see next week. I, I really can't wait. Groupies when Jackie's husband was playing basketball. Shit, Jackie probably was a groupie back in her day. <laughs> back in, 20 back years ago. 30, okay? Shit. Because I did not remember who her husband was. I know, and I hear her daughter keep blowing up on these blogs and stuff. <laughs> her daughter is not. Oh, yes. Son, I want to talk about this. <laughs> what? Um, Jackie was mad that her daughter don't want to talk about sex with her. This is my thing. I don't know how... I don't know how close every woman is to their child, but I think if Jackie was doing what she was supposed to do back in her time, her child would be more comfortable talking with her about sex. I, I, I really think that you have to talk to them while they're young, not while they're old, because then they're like, well, I don't want to talk about this with you. I'm 18. Like, I, I shouldn't have to talk about this with you. I think that something wasn't right back in that time because Jackie your daughter's 18 why are you trying to talk about sex with her right now while she's 18 you should have done that when she was like 8 or 9 or 10 I think that every woman should be comfortable talking to their own mother about sex or not even if who you having sex with but just the topic of sex like I'm not having sex or I am having sex it should be some type of thing. Like if my father was alive, I would not have no problem with talking to him about sex. But my mother, hell yeah. I wouldn't want to talk to my mom about sex. And if I was a girl, I wouldn't talk to my dad about sex. But I would talk to my mom about it. I, I would. Would you, do you feel comfortable talking about it? No. First of all, I'm grown now. So I would never want to talk about that with my parents. My mom or my dad. But I didn't have those conversations with my mom and dad because mm. I just, I didn't, you know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't. You know, I was, I was loosing the boost, but say no. Mm. So, no. Oh, God. I mean, no, I didn't have those, I didn't have those conversations. Um, you live and you learn. If your father you know? came up, if your father asked you about like, are you having protected sex and all of that? Would you feel comfortable talking to him about it? Well, I mean, yeah, but I'm not for other Well, I know, but I'm just saying, like... Oh, sure. Okay, all right, let me say this. The okay. closest I ever had to a conversation with sex, about sex, uh, with uh, my parents, well, with my mom, because I had a, a conversation a long time ago with my dad about sex, but that was the one and only conversation. But, um... My mom, it was actually recently, it was actually last, was it last year or earlier this year? It was either late last year or earlier this year, my mom was saying something about protecting myself. Mm -hmm. And that was that, you know, that was the only conversation that we had. Um, she just said, you know, just make sure you protect yourself. And I just was like, okay. <laughs> if I ever had like a but I mean, I, you know, I do protect myself, but I guess my mom wanted to make sure you protect yourself. 
okay. What the fuck? I, that's what I said when she said that to me. What the <laughs> fuck? Did you, I did. What are you talking about? What do you think I'm a whore? You well, didn't raise a whore. If I had a relationship uh, issue, I got a ask whore. My mom, but sex, I ain't talking to my mom about no sex. I don't even want to ask my mom about a relationship. I don't even want to ask my mom and dad about relationship. Because I say, should. No, I should. I would look at the two of them and say, why the hell would I ask y'all? Y'all can't get along. <laughs> hey, but they look, as long as they're still laying in the same bed, yeah, somebody's right. doing something right. I guess. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Like, my dad is cooking up a storm in the kitchen. My mom ain't letting no man go who can cook. It's like, no. <laughs> My dad, cook? no, my mom can cook her oh, ass off, but the sad. thing is, my dad took my mom how to cook, so, oh, man, you know, it Somebody ain't that. Around there. Nowadays, but then again, nowadays, there's a lot of women who can cook. And there's a lot of young guys who can cook. Oh, girl, let me tell you, these young mothers, a lot of them can't cook, can't so cook. that means that their children won't be able to cook. Some of them can't read, so that means their children won't be able to, ooh. Our society, I'm scared because when I get old, these people gonna be taking care of us. No, they won't. Oh, gee. My my nieces and nephews will be taking care of me, and they I will make sure my nieces. They gonna and be nephews. going to Mikel's pockets. No, they won't. Whooping his ass. First of all, they won't have to go in my pockets because I'll give it to them. I you know Mikel got a smart mouth. I'm going to spoil my nieces and nephews when they ever come around. But I don't know. I just. <laughs> Do you want children? Hell no. You know, a long time ago I did want kids. Mm -hmm. But that was before I started getting older and I started saying to myself, I don't want to raise no child because I'm too emotional. And I can see me now getting attached to the baby and then when it's time to send the baby to school and I start crying because I start thinking all day, oh my God, what's going on? I hope nothing's happening. I'm just too emotional. I would rather babysit a child and then at a certain hour send them home to their mother and father. I think it's a spoiled thing for me. I couldn't have no children. I don't want no children now. Mm -hmm. You know, I was with somebody who said that they wanted children. I said, how the hell is that going to happen? Because I can't have kids. <laughs> Adoption. <laughs> Couldn't, that, would be the, that would be the worst, like a, a deal breaker, because a gay man don't want to have children. Like, they're like, well, I'm going to have to let you go because I want children. That would be horrible. So, well, I guess... I guess I don't have to worry about that. Uh, hey, you never know. I'm sorry for you gay men out there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. Did you still want to talk about Effie and Crockett getting cancer? Or well, I mean, we can talk about it. He's, you know, basically the word is not official yet, but basically ABC, well, no, Fox, Fox. has not picked up, signs don't want to pick up any more sure. episodes. So that's cold word for cancer. But dear Fox, since <laughs> dear no Fox. one's watched Effie and Crockett <laughs> and no one watches you guys 11 o'clock at night on Saturday nights, why don't y'all just put him in the 11 o'clock time slot, like I said before. Everybody do not like Saturday Night Live, and Saturday Night Live does need some competition, so give them a chance. Put them in the 11 o'clock time slot on Saturday night. There you go. That's true. Give them, an hour t give them an hour show, let them compete against SNL, and go ahead about your business. Let, them, let, let a black man be on TV. Be the only network that has an African-American show. Shit, a but, sketch show with that. But, I mean... Okay, I, I hear you when you say let a black man be on TV, let him be the only African American. But if his shit ain't good, it ain't good. Well, I've, I mean, I've because, heard people say it was funny. I've, yeah, seen, but, I've seen the first two episodes. But, but what is he doing that's any different from Dave Chappelle or any other skit show? As a matter of fact, well, Dave Chappelle. Show, they see, the same. No, but Dave Chappelle was funnier. It was funnier and groundbreaking. You know, Dave Chappelle, you have people going back to work and school the next day talking about what they... Nobody talks about Atheon Crockett show. Some people, I tweeted about it today, and some people said, I didn't even know his show was still on. And some had a nurse say they didn't even know who I was talking about. Well, I, I don't think that Fox did a good job with promoting the no, show. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. And do plus, a good on job Sunday, with... Sunday is animation domination on Fox. So they say, I'm looking for cartoons, and they see Atheon Crockett, they're going to fucking switch the channel. Because they're not, they're looking for cartoons. He I needs to reinvent his stuff. You know, he needs to make funnier skits. His whole impersonating celebrities is old. We know you can do Jay-Z. We know you can do Chris Brown. We know you can do something that we don't, we haven't seen you do before. You see what I'm saying? You have to keep getting better and better and better. That's the thing about our show, too. You know, for a long time, we could doing the same thing, and we still do do the same thing from time to time. But we do kind of switch it up, you know what I'm saying? And so that's why our audience continues to grow. If we don't switch it up, then the audience is going to keep going down. And that's what it was with him. You know, it, okay, Fox may not have promoted him, but has he promoted his damn self? 
Okay. You know? I, I know it's going <laughs> on Twitter, and I see the girls retweeting them. <laughs> but well, how far is that going? Because it ain't coming to my timeline. <laughs> Okay, where's Adrian Cockett? He don't work here no he more. He better get back on YouTube. <laughs> he better. Somebody called the Fox and said, where the hell is he at? They star Jones 10. Oh, good. <laughs> they told him, bye. They ain't even say, they ain't even say hit the road, Jack. They just said, bye. So, um, I think the last thing we hit, oh, I probably have some questions too, but Rihanna breaks Madonna's record, I hear. I didn't Google it or whatever, but I did see y'all telling me that Rihanna is the fastest artist to have 20 songs to hit, um, be in, within the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100 charts. So congratulations to Rihanna. Oh, na na. What's your name? Because I forgot. So. Isn't that what uh, Wendy used to say? say <laughs> shout out. Can I give a shout out to Patty LaHell? We're going to try to get Patty LaHell on the Scorpion show because we want to we want to have her on the show because she is hilarious. Her YouTube videos are hilarious. They are blowing up on YouTube. Everybody loves them. I love them. The shade that she throws in those videos are priceless. I mean, they are. I love them. I'd be like, how the fuck did she come up with that? And I'd be fucking myself. A lot of motherfucking time. That is shade, okay? She be throwing that shade down. I love the fact that Miss Dion Warwick is <laughs> now a part of Got To Be Real. Okay! And oh yeah, P.S. Patty LaHell, don't ever get rid of Got To Be Real theme song, okay? Because that theme song fits the video. <laughs> got To Be Real, Got To Mariah! Mariah! And I love when Rita be going in like, don't let oh. Nicki Minaj try to jump in, bitch. <laughs> And she be like, no, bitch, we read each other, girl. Yeah. Bitch, you better go at the other table, bitch. Wait a you minute. Be with us. We grown people. But Aretha Franklin, her, first of all, I'll be trying to figure out where did she be getting these clips of Aretha from. Because <laughs> she be having these ugly ass wigs on. And you just be like, when does Aretha Franklin do these interviews? Because I don't never see them. <laughs> but Aretha Franklin really do be looking like she be saying that stuff. <laughs> But wait, when Dion said, she ain't Aretha, <laughs> she has an H and an A and a T in her name. They ain't gonna say no, she's a hater. A hater. Mm -hmm. Man, I just love it. I love yeah. that to be real. We need to have we on the show. show. Yeah, we do. We gotta have I wanna show. see a YouTube spinoff with the YouTubers throwing shit at each other. Oh! I would love to see it. But Patty LaBelle would have, no. I don't know. Patty, is the Patty LaBelle, this is Mac, I don't care who do it. But I want to see it. No, I don't. I don't know. And don't include. So anyway, um, don't include who? Don't take that. That's not nice. Don't include the new. Be mean. That's not nice. Don't include the new blogger. Let's just say that. Oh. Well, why <laughs> can't? No, about? she would be. That would be funny. <laughs> now that would be a kiki if she was added in. Oh God. She's a part of us now. Because she's damn sure ain't part of the music industry no more. <laughs> Now that was shade. <laughs> what you gonna do? Talk about my furniture? <laughs> ah, gotcha. I ain't got none. <laughs> so y'all, thank y'all for watching. We will be back on Monday. Do you, are you off on Monday? Off from what? Columbus Day. I don't know. That's a good question. I'll find out this week. Yeah. I'm off for holidays, so I'm, I probably, I don't know, I don't think Columbus Day, they probably give y'all Columbus Day. No, because I don't think they give us Martin Luther King. No, they what? don't. What? No, don't Do you request off? No, I don't. My coworker does. Okay. I don't request off. It's not a day off, it's a day on, remember. So, I mean, did I have, no. Thank y'all for watching. <coughs> Can I get a shout out? Huh? Can I give a shout out? Yeah, I gotta get some shout outs too. I gotta okay, give a shout out to some Libras. So anyway, everybody has been filling my timeline up with oh it's my birthday, oh it's my birthday, oh it's my birthday, all in one week. So I'm gonna just do this one more time. I wanna say happy birthday to Joe Nathan again. Happy birthday to um Kid Courtney. Happy birthday to Eric of ATL. Happy birthday to Chantel. Happy birthday to Tony Braxton and happy birthday to Brandon. Happy birthday to all of y'all whose birthday is this week. And I know what y'all parents was doing nine months ago. 
Well, not nine months ago, but nine months before y'all was born because it was real cold and they was keeping each other warm. So shout out to y'all. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, happy on. birthday. Fuck it. Uh. Well, you know, Mikael don't know how children get here anyway. No, I don't. I just found out about two days ago. I said, really? That's where they come from? Oh, go ahead. Then I saw a picture. I said, oh, Lord. Oh, I was watching babies being born on YouTube. Ah! Yes! Oh, do you see how... It stretches it's right. Oh, oh God. my God! No, the, the, uh, when I saw that, I started getting all types of thoughts in my head. I, <laughs> child, when I first saw that, I was just like this. <laughs> they said the 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 vagina is like elastic; it can stretch really far. And then snap right back. Yes. Okay. So I don't know how them girls be. Some of them girls be faking stuff. Well, is the ass like that? No. You know that that ain't elastic. I, I don't oh, know. Oh my God! Have you ever seen? Oh. God, no. Well, I don't know. Why do we always end with talking about that stuff? I don't know. You never seen no. a fist. Oh, that's some... disgusting. Yeah, I see. Ah! Isn't that disgusting? That, that, that's, your butt can never go back to say. <laughs> well, how did it feel after you had it done? Don't ever. Well, I'm just saying. Don't that. ever. I mean, how would you know? Don't <laughs> ever. I mean, how would you know? <laughs> I've seen the motherfucking videos. Oh, come now. You can do better than that. Girl. <laughs> I see the way you have a little twitch in your walk. I uh, have a twitch in my walk? <laughs> yes, you do. Since you come back from Atlanta. Oh, yeah. They have a new thing down there, not fingering, fisting. Ah, mm, that is nasty. Woo! Doo doo. Doo doo. Yes. Doo -doo. I'm going to fist Kevin. Doo doo. Doo doo. Don't think that will ever happen. Fist his ass. Doo doo. Doo doo. He's going to fist If y'all into that kind of stuff, that is really nasty. I forgot what I wanted to say. I wanted to say something else. Oh, yeah. On my Facebook, y'all, don't be all scared. Some people say, oh, well, Kevin, you're brave. Well, I mean, all of this is a big stomach. I mean. Brave of doing what? I posted a picture on, three pictures oh, on Facebook. God, These are my before shots. And when my birthday comes, well, I'm going to post them every week. So you're going to see, hopefully, a change every week. You know what I want so, you to do? Yes. With your weight loss? Yes. I want you to just not talk about it. Why? Because every time you talk about it, you don't stick with it. I've been, I've been doing good. I'm down to 227 from 232. Ooh, that is good. That is good. Pounds. That right. is good. But remember when you lost about 15 pounds and yes. you shot right back up? <laughs> I was feeling myself. You but, were. But I'm, I'm proud I of myself. I just think that you should just... Not talk so about it. So you think I should just not talk not about it? Not talk about it. You know why? Because when you talk about it, when you, I don't, there's nothing wrong with you, you know, being happy or anything like that. But I just think that when you talk about it and then you have other people saying, oh, Kevin, you look good. You're doing good. You're doing good. You look good. This and the third. Then that start messing with you. And then you start saying to yourself, well, then I guess everybody's telling me I look good. Then maybe I don't really need to do anything for a while, you know. And then you don't do anything for a while. And then you just slowly but surely start shooting back up. Maybe you should just do it on your own. Like, for instance, I know this is, has nothing to do with weight loss. But when I started growing, even though it's not really full yet, but my beard. Now, mind you, I never had hair on my face before like that because I'm not, I don't like hair on my face. But when I decided that I was going to grow my beard, I didn't tell anybody. I just did it because I knew had I started telling people that people would start saying, either, oh, that's not going to look right or it is going to look right. And then I would start letting that fuck with me and then I would not want it and then I cut it off. But I just decided and I'm, and I like the fact that it's growing in my sleep. It's still young. It's still a puppy. I'm mad that my barber cut mine. Oh, but I think it's good because I don't want to have two bearded people on the show. Yeah, that, that would look right. Mm -hmm. yeah, totally. But I don't think you should talk about it. I think you should just do You should just shock the hell out of the world like Jennifer Hudson did. One minute she was fat and then two days later she was skinny as <laughs> hell. I said, Jennifer Hudson, where the hell you been at? You, you know, I just saw you two days ago and you were still Effie White size. <laughs> no. You now you're small and then Beyonce, girl, you're smoking that. Now all, now all she got to do is learn how to dance. No, all she needs to do is learn a new song, because I'm tired of that sun in the sky. Wait. You know. No. How many times is Jennifer the Hudson going to sing that song? How many different ways? Because she sings it high, she sings it low, she sings it fast. Sun. Did you song. see Messy Miles um, spoof no. of Jennifer Hudson? No, I got to see it. It's fucking hilarious. You know how I feel. And then they got her slowing down singing. Oh, yeah. I'm like, girl, just give her a whole new fucking song, okay? okay. So let her sing Oh Happy Day. Because I'm tired of her. She ain't gonna sing that. I'm just tired of sun in the sky. And I'm feeling good. good. Damn, Jennifer Hudson. Damn, 
Yeah, 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 how many new days are you gonna have, okay? Because you got more new days than. I mean, I was about to go off on somebody. You went off on Jennifer the other day when she talking about. Oh my god! Watch it and tell him we sent y'all <laughs> and subscribe to his channel. All right, y'all, we got to go. Ho, ho, ho. So go. I forgot how it went. But anyway, no. <laughs> she's like, Yo, Yo I, I got to go. go. Y'all got to go. So, so go, go get, get your bags so we can go. Oh, no, 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 no. She said, I got the flow. Y'all got to go. So go get your bags so we can go. Oh, oh. Ow, 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 ow. Now.